YouTube. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy CJ, the Barber Prodigy. Today I'm bringing to you guys a, a, a different kind of video as well. Um, a lot of people I know, you know, when COVID hit, they started kind of taking to the home barber setup and, you know, just kind of, they had to do what you got to do at the end of the day because you still got bills to pay and you can't cut in the shops, the shops are closed. So I understand, I don't knock it. But I just wanted to show you guys my home barber setup. My situation is kind of a little different. I actually am a military spouse, as a lot of you may know. So I don't really go and cut at a shop because our child care options are kind of crazy. It's hard to get child care in the small town that we're in. So it's just easier to cut at home and watch the kids. And yeah, it, it's a lot. I juggle a lot. But we make it work between me and my wife. So. I would love to show you guys how we make it work, how I set up everything to, to get the, the quality cuts that you see on my Instagram and, and, and YouTube and Facebook page. And so, stay tuned and let me take you guys into my setup. So we'll start with the outside. I got this neat little wooden sign that I made and painted myself from... Um, Pallet wood, just something to make it stand out to the customers since I do cut out of my home. I found these shelves on Amazon. I think they're for the bathroom or something like that, but I just thought it was a great way to, to put my um, quick access products. So I mounted it to the wall under the mirror. And like I say, stuff that I use for styling hair or, or like hose spray. The barbicide, all of that stuff's easier to get to this way. Also, wanted to add a little art to, to, to splash up the space. I actually did this myself. I created this digitally. And I offer a lot of payment options. So I have this little scanner thing here where people can scan the code and, and, and pay whichever way they choose. Also, the little reminder to review us on Google. You see my little card reader there for taking cards. For my guards, my stand has a metal metal legs so I just clip them to there it's just convenient and for any of you that's been rocking with my channel for a while you know I really been wanting the beam team XL it's so hard to get um, I couldn't get it at all in Germany and when I got to the States I finally ordered it but it took forever to get here because it was on back order and then this just a little this little other tools I use commonly my razor razor comb to finish the cuts See my shaver, my, my clipper cleaning brushes, um, my fabulous trimmer, which honestly my Stylecraft Evo is my favorite trimmer, but it's in the shop. It's getting worked on right now, so that's why you don't see it on my stand. I'm a huge Stylecraft head. I love all their products. No offense to fabulous but Stylecraft really made a better product. Um, I keep candles burning just to kind of create that relaxing environment. I feel like a lot of guys come to me over other barbers because I provide that that peaceful, that calm environment. And this is where I put my stuff when it's drying, like my tools and stuff when I wash them out with soap and water. Or, you know, when they come out the barber side, I set them on this towel to dry. And it's sitting on top of my towel warmer, which, of course, like I said, I try to provide that those calming, those luxury services, the... The extra mile when it comes to haircut so this is where I house all my hot towels and I refresh them every day fresh clean towels at the beginning of each day all right and this is my facial station of course I got my little no rent shampoo there as well because I'm in military housing so we can't really modify the the room like that and and make way for a, a mobile sink or a, um you had a little wash basin so I just use the no rinse the rest of this stuff is just for facials and this as you can see this is a shelf that I had built custom to fit under the little barber station and this is where I keep all my towels before they go in the towel warmer as well as the ones I use for my hands this is where I put the seat the booster seat for kids down here like I said I'm a huge stylecraft fan so you see all my stylecraft and gamma boxes the water for my facial steamer I don't know if you saw that above, but I also have a, a massage chair. 
so that when clients are waiting, like when moms are waiting on their kids or or if um if the customer is done with their cut and they want to just sit and get the little five minute massage, everything's included. No additional no additional fees or anything. I include everything in the price just to make it convenient. So my, my customers are, are spoiled. I'm not even gonna lie that they really <laughs> have it made over here. And that's this is my beautiful wife. Just wanted to show you guys how I got it set up with the massage chair and the facial steamer so they can get a facial steam while they're sitting in the massage chair. And I have this rack by the door where I put all my barber capes on as well as my smock. And you see the bag where my dirty towels go after I've used them on skin prep or facials. They go right in the bag, the laundry bag to be washed. So that's very convenient. And over here at the front of the shop, in front of the barber chair, I have my products. So if you're a barber and you aren't selling products and you would like to, get at me. I offer wholesale rates. I would love to talk to you guys more about that in detail. I also sell silky do-rags as well as the velvet do-rags. I cut a lot of waivers, so I try to tailor to the customers that I, I service. I want to make sure that I'm their one-stop shop for all the hair care needs. You can't really see this too well, but these are the barber combs. I mean the fading combs. The razor fading combs, they're still in the plastic. I sell those as well for anybody that wants to keep their frizz down in between cuts. And here I have the OG 8 ounce pomade with the original label on it, as well as the, the um, skin therapy lotion that we make and sell as well. And that also has the OG label on it. We currently went, um, recently went through a rebranding, so a lot of our labels will be changing soon. As you can see on the new, on the four ounce pomade, this is how our new labels look. So yeah, all of this is available to my customers. So they, like I said, they're able to handle all their hair care needs in one place for the most part. And I'm constantly adding to it. I have a whole empty shelf. You can't really see in this clip where I'm at. We'll be adding more. There, there's the empty shelf right there. And you can see where I'll be adding more products in the very near future. So yeah. Um, and this is what they see while they're getting their cut. It's kind of a, a a little something there to entice them and remind them of what they may need. And this is my barber chair, the artist hands barber chair. As, as I recently got this one, um, it's a better chair, much more comfortable. My clients love it. So if you're looking for a good barber chair starting out, I do recommend the artist hands. It does recline. It's and like I can say all my clients love it. I had one that was a little cheaper um, and it reclined as well, but I cut a lot of military clients and they're, they're some bigger dudes. So and this is honestly, this is just my miscellaneous shelf for different things that I need, but don't need like every cut except for the Lysol wipes and the dryer. But it's just, it's convenient to reach it right there. So you can kind of see where it is in, in placement in um, respect to, to the chair. So I just, I have the dryer on a long cord so I can pull it up and use it to dry their line, dry that whole spray when I spray their lineups. But yeah, it's my little setup. It's not too huge. I got the, the big mirrors too. So when they get out the chair, they want to double check their cut. And I have this mirror as well so they can see it while I'm cutting it as well as my hand mirror that I show them the cut up close it's down sitting on the bench you can't really see it on this clip this is where I put all of my certifications degrees just mount them on the wall you don't see my barber license there cuz I'm actually still in barber college I tell you guys that in every video rock with me and I promise you, it'll be there soon enough. All right. So if you enjoyed what you saw, I hope it gave you some ideas, um, some kind of tips and tricks or ways you can do your setup. Every Everything's kind of different. I have the window lighting right here, so I try to make sure that my lighting is even. Um, I have two ring lights, as you may have seen. And like I said, I really want to make sure that everything is brightly lit and I'm able to, to see every detail of every cut so that I can put my best effort forward every time. So you guys, um, 
Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. I can gladly put any product links below. Um, it's a lot, a whole lot, so it'll probably be by request only on this video just because it's, it's so much that I have in here and I don't, I can't really remember everything all at one time. So, like I said, hit me up. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, any way you can to help support this channel and help me keep producing content. I appreciate you guys and you have a blessed day.